part of the challenge of the 80s and the 90s and the year two, uh, 2000 and on, is to take the information we have, make it manageable, and be able to uh, function uh, uh, with some, some degree of uh, security with all that information. Information is power, in the, especially in the sense that it is available for those who are already powerful. And the great problem, one of the great problems I think we face, is that we don't know how to deliberately, as a society, move that power to the people who are powerless or who need more power to get fairness, equity, justice, and to redistribute the opportunities to make decisions in the society. And watch the kids. Look at the, at the little games that kids now have. They play football on a little machine, and they, they have uh, little uh, tanks that now go around, and you know, watch that. That's where it's going to start. Those kids are not afraid of computers. They'll use advanced technology. It will enrich their lives. They'll understand about the world. They won't just listen. I've been in the public opinion field for three decades. I've read and examined millions of uh, statistics and uh, gone through f hundreds and thousands of interviews with cross-sections of Americans. And that experience has deepened my belief in, in democracy. You could say that a person who's lived the way I have with people who sometimes are poorly informed and sometimes have foolish views would have made me into a cynic on the subject of democracy. On the contrary, it's given me a lot more confidence in the judgment of the American people than in the direction of our institutions. I suppose my gutsy response is to is to be uh, is to be romantic about an earlier period when things were slow. I can uh, I can have fun recalling my early days when uh, the only magazine that came into our house was National Geographic. I grabbed it and read it from cover to cover. Uh, we played radio. We didn't listen to radio. We had no TV. That seemed uh, in my memory bank uh, a kind of innocent. A satisfying world. But intellectually, I know it's uh, not for me. Um, when I put aside my sentiment and come to my uh, intellectual interpretation, I say, this is a magnificent world.